back to another stream with me, Sazlot Gaming. Uh, today we're going to watch uh, Vanna. Uh, he is 1200 ELO. He never played a ranked game, one versus one. So I would say he's, he's around 1000, I guess. Uh, you could be really high at the team random map and still be pretty bad at the game since it's. There is so many factors with if you get decent teams or something that is gonna boost your elo. It's much more uh, easy to tell if you're a good player or not if you're playing one versus one because it's basically all up to you then. Uh, so I'm gonna do a uh, live coaching by him. Uh, say a little things that he does uh, good and uh, some things that he can improve on. Uh, he has uh, picked Goth for Nomad. It's probably not the best uh, civilization to pick. I would prefer to go for Koreans, Dravidons, uh, Persians is good. Uh, Spanish is one of the best. Uh, but it's okay, I guess. I mean, it all comes down to if you, if you're good with a civilization, you should probably play that one. Uh, so the game is going to start now. Mm, I think it's a little bit more uh, in the game that I can see. Because I'm a little bit behind. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can ride a little bit. Yeah, I cannot do it. The game is a little bit behind. Caught up to live gameplay. Uh, he built his TC. Pretty fast. That is nice. I like that a lot. He also went for the tower. He also went for the house really fast. And the top. See, he has a really nice start here. Normally, at the lower Ileo, they're gonna wait for one minute before they start building the town centers. But then you're gonna be so far behind with the village account that it's gonna be like the prioritizing. Thing when you're playing Nomad is that you want to go up as soon as possible because if you're one or two minutes behind your enemy is probably gonna drop a castle on you and then you basically have lost all the the economy and everything because you have to either run away or try to fight it it's gonna be really hard But he has a good start. He has two uh, villagers on this uh, town center. He also has the dock out. So it's really nice. I think that they got really bad uh, team bonuses because no one is Dravidians and no one is Vikings. So it doesn't get any benefit from the water here. If you got Dravidons, you would not have uh, got to say. Uh, you would have got the, the free population, so you don't need the first house. And here you see one mistake you do. Uh, you're getting a next house, but you're still only four pop. And you had ten, so... You should always send all of them on the wood. Get one fishing ship out, and then you can go for a house. And if you do that smoothly, you are going to not get housed. Because now... You would probably have your fishing ship out, and then you would have six resource gatherers instead of, instead of just five. And then it would probably have dropped 15 here, and when it drops 15 here, they can afford another villagers. Because you are probably not going to get enough now to get the, your villagers. But you're getting two of food. I think when you're playing Nomad uh, on water, I think two on food here is... I don't... Normally I don't do more. You probably don't need to kill this one though, because you're gonna be stuck on this for like one minute. So this is gonna decay down to 100 or something. Also you should try always to get a sheep, so you can scout the map. Because now it's gonna really get really hard to know where the boars are. 
So the thing I would do now, I would try to get one more ship out. And here, you should get to Loom, because now it doesn't do anything with the town centers. Either you can drop force them, because these ones can drop force and you can get another villager. Yeah, you're doing that now, that is nice. But if you know that you're only gonna, you're not gonna produce with the town center, you can just go to get loot because you're gonna get it anyways at the later in the game. Now you should get probably be a house after this one is coming out. Yeah, I should go for a house right now. You are not doing that, so you're most likely gonna get house now because now you're gonna have two here and you're gonna get this one. Yeah, you're getting the house, it's nice. You could try to get it a little sooner because when you get 75 now, you're gonna get the house. And then you're gonna have to wait for like 5 seconds for it to get out. But you're you're doing really good at start. You're, you're not really doing any mistakes. Not significant. Not significant. I will probably get another house now. Since this goes when it goes like here, it goes really fast. So you can either get a fishing unit right now, and just a house right now, because you're gonna get housed again. You see, it's dropping out, and you're gonna get housed. It takes the same amount of time it takes to build a house, it takes to produce a villager. I think it's around 20 seconds or something. 25 maybe and it takes the same time to get the house so right now you should just get one more fish ship and then you have to scout because now they're gonna take these ones and it's gonna fuck up with your uh, villager because it's gonna run out now so either you're gonna have to go for another dock or it's gonna go back to the base and this is the big, big mistake I think you're gonna do now. You're not gonna scout with this, this is just gonna stand still. Yep. They found another one, so it's fine. But you, you probably lost around 50, 60 food there. And you really needed one. I'm not sure if you were pulling the boards, it took your attention. Mm -hmm. And if I were you now, I would probably just go for a wood lubber camp here somewhere. So you can go to the next stage. Because you're, you're getting a little bit too much houses now. You got 15, you're gonna get 45. Would it be better if you just skip one house and go for a lumber camp here? So you can go up to the next stage. Because I think you're thinking the same thing now. That you're gonna go for a lumber camp somewhere, but you 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 should go for uh, just the next stage now because you're 27 here. You're way too much villagers, and you need a second building. I have no idea what you do right now, but you should get a lumber camp here, and you need to go up right now because you are falling behind right now. If yellow is going for a castle. You're gonna be way too far behind right now. Should get the lumber camp here and the uh, mines here. Since you're a goth, you're gonna need probably a castle to defend yourself. Again, you have a lot of uh, villagers. Did it say okay? Should probably ascend three, four to gold. It's gonna help you a lot because then you're gonna have 200 when you go up for the next stage. Because these guys are just gonna bump into each other. Also, you need a lot more food, uh, wood when going up. So, I would probably send four of them. Probably to the gold though. And then, then you can keep a little bit more of the wood so you can cre keep producing the fish ships. This is also a little bit of a mistake. I'm not sure why you're heading that way with them, because you have fish everywhere. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really hope you don't uh, lose your village, you know. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, nice reaction. This one should not be AFK like that. You should really... I mean, this is the common mistake, because when this is not scouted, they always had the fish somewhere else. But yeah. And they are tower rushing. So I should probably just get back here. This one is not gonna go up. You are just gonna lose villager there. You should never fight that one. You are not gonna get it uh, 75 up for that. I would just have go back with this. Because the next tower here is most likely gonna kill the farms as well. So I would just have retreated a little bit back here. Try to get the gold and a stone and try to defend with a castle later on. But hey, you do you man. It's a bit a little bit of a learning curve. You did do really good with the tower there though, because now you bought yourself some time to get to the castle age. The hard part though is that they're gonna keep uh, harassing you with the towers. I should probably just take this fight with the villagers. Yeah, you're doing it right now. Good job. Now you just get the tower. Don't chase them. You're wasting resources right now. When it goes back like that, you just go for the tower and kill it. Because you wasted one villager there. And that, that tower is not really gonna help you. You should build it up here, at the same spot where uh, he has his, because then you're gonna block, so you cannot go for the stone and the gold. Because now he's gonna turn into a village fight, and you are most likely gonna lose that fight. Yeah, You see, and now you gave him a free tower, and he can just finish his tower. That's why you should just have killed his tower, and just straight go for a building your side, the same tower there. Because now the game is getting way too messy for you, and you're gonna get probably way too many mistakes. You're fighting at the tower now, that is also bad. I like the person is at least helping you. Now you should fight when you're trying to build it. You should have... One villager fight, fighting every villager, so they cannot finish the build. And you really need to get the tower, because it's soon gonna go up, and then it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to fight it. I really wanna get the one up. You have a lot of uh, idle villager shears, you should probably focus a bit more on them. You have lost all your fish, and that is not really good. The water is really important on this map, so... The one that controls it normally wins the game, if the others are focusing the others. I think Yellow invested a little bit too much in that push as well, so... He lost 4 or 5 villagers, he should just... When he noticed that the, the archers are coming, he should just go back. Ah, that is some nice coffee. So, I mean, you, you're doing great. Like, this tower was really bad by yellow. If you knew that you could just have a shoot down, you would probably... You would probably have just have uh, went back with this entire push. Because that is way too expensive for him. Yes. So, your goal right now should probably be to get to Castle Age as soon as possible and just drop a castle on him right here somewhere because then you're gonna deny you're gonna control the gold here that you know that he's probably on either here or here and you're gonna control the wood line and you're gonna have then you can go around just kill this one
Yeah, so I missed a little bit of the game there. Uh... I missed a little bit of the game there because I was uh, talking to a friend. But this is gonna be a huge problem. Uh, you are doing the right thing. It's just, if you're gonna invest in defending this one, you have to send everything on him. You cannot send two villagers. These two villagers gonna take way too long time to build this one up. You should send at least half of your villager if you wanna invest in this fight. You are really lucky though that uh, Teal is helping you. But I mean, this, this one is going up way too slow. You need to be, have at least six, seven on these guys. And then send out some villagers to just at Harassi's field, because now he's sending more villagers, he should have done that from the start by the way, so that was really bad by yellow. But now, now... Now you're gonna lose those two towers for nothing really. Just because you were too slow. If you were like 30 seconds earlier with this, you could have garrisoned and then you would have harassed all of his villagers. But now it's gonna be really hard for you to get back in the game. I mean, now it's just buying time and try to get the castle right in the center here so you can defend your economy. They are doing pretty good. They are not that far behind. I think the tilt should have been... Uh, he is kind of booming, I guess. But his score is pretty bad, considering he's not really have done that much this game. Yeah, that is, that is a really bad uh, castle. Really bad castle. You're gonna lose that castle. If you place the castle right here, yeah, now you're doing the right thing. Now you're doing the right thing. You want to defend your economy. You don't want to push the castle because you have already lost the castle against him. Your mission right now is just to keep your villagers safe. And you, you should never uh, repair the, uh, cost, uh, tele, uh, the the town center. Because it's, it's way too expensive, expensive to do. It's just get more on stone and then build two more town centers here. Yeah, you're thinking the right thing. Right here, maybe here. You could also go for one here on the side, but it's going to be a little bit harder to defend. But you're, you're doing the right thing. I think the core issue here is Gray is a really good player. 
But he's gonna have quite some hard time uh, fighting Persians. And he should probably get a monk or two because he sees here that he's going for the elephants. So he's gonna have something. He needs something to counter that. Uh, you got another dock here. I didn't see that. That was really smart by you. It was probably why you sent the fish from here all the way here. The problem though is that you did it way too early. So you lost the entire early game because you had all your fish AFK moving like one minute all the way down here. Instead you can have